Okay, based on a little extra thought here, I wanted to make this part two video for you on the inputting of a listing. And what I'm going to do is go through the process. I'm not going to put in all the details, but I am going to highlight the spots and just discuss some of the spots where you might run into questions or have questions as you're putting the listing in. So I'm in MRIS, I'm in Keystone, I've added the listing. If you've got questions on how to get where I am right now, watch part one. Uh, I've basically pulled the tax ID number and I'm going to search. It's going to pull that up and I'm going to do the autofill. It's going to autofill some of the data for me and we're off to the races. So what I'm going to do is just kind of tear through this and as I see a spot that you might have a question about, I'm going to try to answer that in this part two video so that you know how to fill these blanks in. But a lot of it's going to be explanatory. Seller rental is sale. Ownership is generally going to be condo or fee simple. Um, going on here, you're going to know the rent price. My agent ID is 11777 and everything else seems pretty self-explanatory. Value range pricing is going to be no. Um, yep, that's that good for now. So let's save and continue. You know, number of buildings, number of elevators, fireplaces. You're going to have a lot of this data on the property already. If you see one of these blue boxes where it doesn't look like a field, you're going to click the blue box and it's going to open up into a huge selection screen where you have a chance to go through and just look and um, identify different features and things about the property. So always click those blue boxes and flesh them out as much as you possibly can. Let's see if there's any questions on here that you're going to have. Model name, sometimes you can find that on the tax record down at the bottom right corner. Uh, in this case, let's see if there's one listed. It's called the Newport. Um, so look there for model name. Let's keep going here. Story list that has to do with how the, how the floors are laid out. Um, measurements. Tax records, you can go through all this, self-explanatory room dimensions, you can figure out where the rooms are located, um, the utilities. Uh, if you've got a question on some of this, you should have most of it in the listing agreement, but if you don't, uh, the community is a good place to look. So go look, um, do a search and search for what's going on in the community, what the rest of the community has and is using. And then if you've got questions, ask me about that as well. Um, condo fees you should have as part of what you're doing here. Uh, investment, you can leave that blank most of the time. Earn it or mortgage, you're going to leave that blank. When you go through here through comp compensation, if it's a rental, it's going to be 25% of the rent amount. If it's a sale, you're going to put 3% there. Uh, and you can just type in 25 or 3. Um, you don't have to do the calculations. Um, Subagent compensation is always zero. Designated representative is yes. Dual agency is no. Um, variable rate compensation is no. Um, show times, always sort of 9 to 7 unless otherwise. Show days, all days. Um, keep going here. Photo options, you're going to put lister will upload all. Remarks, again, um, I can type these in so you can leave these blank or put just a little something in there. But, uh, you know, and, and not a bad place to look is go back through some of the old listings for this property. Go back through um, some of the things that people are saying about other homes within this community, and you can at least sort of uh, put something together there. Lot, exterior features, you know, again, self explanatory on that. Uh, parking is easy enough to figure out. Uh, if there's an ad alternate agent ID, um, put that in there. Owner, go ahead and fill in the owner's information there. If it's a rental, just put. Uh, you can put their name in there as well. Um, property management, uh, that's the management for a community. Showing contacts, if it's vacant, just put vacant and you can put fives or zeros in the phone number. It doesn't look like it requires anything. And otherwise, you can put the name of the owner or whomever is called for um, showing. And let's see here, nothing specific on that one. Elementary schools, you can find that on the website. There's a video on how to find where the schools are. So please watch that. And for directions, Google the directions. You can find them that way if I've not provided them to you. And there's a map of where it is. Some of this stuff I'm going to go in behind and edit for you anyway. But that's a basic walkthrough of um, the special features on putting a listing in. Thanks.